morning, everyone. Welcome back to day two of van updates and repairs. Today, me and my Uncle Lou here <laughs> are going to be installing a folding table, folding counter, whatever you want to call it, outside of the van. So when you open up the sliding door, we have an extra table outside. We are just looking for hardware to figure out how to mount this table. And we're on our way to Home Depot, but we just saw a thrift store. Uh, we're gonna pull in this thrift store and see if we can find some hardware off an old table or something. We don't know, we're just gonna see what happens. So let's do it. Well, scratch that idea. The thrift store had a huge line out the door <laughs> and uh, we don't wanna be doing that all day. So we're just gonna skip that and go to Home Depot. Okay, so we just got back from Home Depot and this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be installing a collapsible shelf that acts as like a table. And we're gonna use a cutting board, a bamboo cutting board with a piano hinge and a leg underneath with a hinge. It's gonna lock into here. Okay, now that I have my spacer cut to size, it's the same length as the piano hinge, and now I gotta sand and stain the spacer. Okay, so next I'm gonna stain this uh, spacer for the piano hinge, and I'm gonna stain it with some dark tongue oil, which mix it's mixed with a citrus solvent to seal it up tongue oil that we have used for the uh, pieces of wood here, that's leftover tongue oil from our uh, live edge countertop in the kitchen. We kind of kept it in the van all this time, so we're gonna get some use out of that leftover stain. And then I have this piece of oak that I'm gonna use for the undermount angled brace for the collapsible shelf. I'm gonna cut it and then stand it. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna let that dry in the sun for about an hour or so. Should be good to work with after that. Okay, next I'm gonna mark the hinge where the hinge, where the holes are gonna go for the hinge mounts. Uh, for the uh, leg and then I'm going to mark my drill bit so I don't go in too deep and then make my pilot holes. I'm gonna mount the anchor for the piano hinge that is on the uh, cutting board. I am hot and sweaty out here. As you know, we are in Florida and it's about, I don't know, 90 degrees right now and I am dying. So I'm gonna go jump in the pool cool down a little bit, take a dip, and then we're gonna go visit Crystal in the house, and we are going to wash our bench cushions. Very exciting day. <laughs> oh man, can't say it enough. I'm gonna miss this pool. <laughs> All right, let's go catch up with Crystal inside and wash up those bench cushions. 
How's it going in here? Hola! Good, I just realized how dirty these are. So what we got going here is I want to clean these base. We got some natural like, oxygen bleach plus. It's usually used for like as a laundry detergent. So the material that we used for these is outdoor furniture or marine furniture. So the dirt's coming off pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Okay. I mean, we went with cream. We kind of knew at the time, like, it's gonna get really dirty. But because we have so much wood, we just didn't want it to be more dark. Like, a lot of people, they use the white walls to brighten the place, but we didn't want white walls because they always get dirty, and we, we wanted our van to look a little bit more unique than that. So, instead we deal with these cushions. But you know what? It's been six months, right, B? December, January, February, March. It's yeah, been four they're months. not that bad. So <laughs> they really are. Yeah. Okay, let's go put this outside. So drying these bad boys. Look at the cute little hammock drying station. So now I'm gonna go over and pool party with everyone. Cause it is hot. Okay, so here's the pool party. There's Van there's Van there's Darcy and Cora. There's Mark and Jake. We're really gonna miss this place a lot. They've been taking great care of us. So thanks to Uncle Lou and Aunt Marilyn for uh, being great hosts and uh, just helping us out and being great people. So I was going through the van, working on stuff, and uh, I found these extra dowels. Um, and I cut down the size, stained the ends, and what I'm gonna do with these is a little security thing for our bedroom and kitchen window. Um, these are slide windows, and so is our kitchen window. And I'm gonna put these inside. That way you can only open the window so far at night. Sometimes you like to sleep with the windows open a little bit, and we'll be more secure, because you won't be able to get in there once I put these inside. So it looks like Brian has finished our outdoor table, which I'm super psyched about. That way we can just have some drinks by the beach, eat outside, and we don't always have to set up our other big table. Pretty stoked, it's really cool. And I, th I think it's a pretty good design too, so. So yeah, after a few days and a few modifications, we finally figured out how this thing works. So yeah, it's, it's a collapsible shelf. We use the bamboo cutting board, the 20 inch by 20 inch cutting board. And I have a leg here. It's uh, magnetized, so it just falls down here. It stays up here with a magnet. Comes down here, and then the extra leg, I have it Velcroed here. And all I do, put the uh, bolts in the leg there. Got some fancy looking wing nut type things here. And then I made a little nook here, where the leg tucks into. And there you go. Make yourself a nice sturdy little table. Sweet little table. Yeah. Woohoo! Success. And also too, he put on this other magnet because I was worried about it like making sounds and flopping around while we were driving. But he has another magnet down here so the table is actually also magnetized so when we move it doesn't rattle around. So. Yeah, when, it, when, when it's in the collapse position, there's a magnet that holds it so it doesn't bounce around. Good job. All right. Woo -hoo. So now for my work, what I did, our cushions turned out pretty damn awesome. Looking pretty good. I will say, if you're gonna get your upholstery done for a van, this is a little tip, do not have it done by a marine upholstery shop. You might need to order the fabric there and have somebody that's familiar with it, but they upcharge by three times as much. You never usually wanna go to a marine shop for any of it, but this is marine grade like upholstery and it looks great. So it's time to Finally say goodbye to Lou and Marilyn, which is so difficult because it's been so fun here, but it's time to get back on the road. So we're gonna go say goodbye right now, and then St. Augustine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna miss you. Yeah, we're gonna miss you guys. Yeah. We're gonna miss you too. Safe travels, bon voyage. Yeah. Time to go.
I miss them. On to the next town. So I think that wraps up this week's video, eh? Yeah, it does. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Okay, see you guys next week. <laughs>